morning folks just got here to the parking lot uh, where I have to register yeah super stoked the drive to get here from Dayton uh, all the way here to West Portsmouth was a beautiful drive um, as you can see yeah I'm excited let me go register lather up with some bug spray and then uh, we'll locate where this uh, trailhead is and we'll get on the trail I'm uh, all bug sprayed up, battered up, registered, got my backpack ready, got my cooking poles uh, right here at the parking lot. Uh, if you're curious, uh, this is where you register at. If you ever come hike here, I'll come show you real quick. That's one thing I didn't see from other folks vlogging their hike out here. I didn't know where you would register at. But it's pretty simple. Um, just get in here, Shawnee State Forest. Uh, maps, back, back and trail uh, maps and registration. Here's the registration pamphlet right here. Pull this out. And uh, pretty self explanatory. You've got all the information here on the bottom of the form. Uh, you would uh, tear that part off and that be uh, your permit that you would use to take with you on the hike. And then uh, the bigger portion of the registration, the top part, uh, you would just put it here in the uh, depository. For the registrations and that's just you know simply for back to safety in the worst case scenario if anything would happen to you out on the trail you put the the dates of when you're entering the trail and you put the dates of when you're exiting the trail so if uh, you go missing you get hurt um, they know where to look for you at so without further ado I am going to uh, get this backpack on. It's pretty heavy. I didn't weigh it. I got four liters of water, cameled up, uh, two bottles of smart water, one liter each. I have uh, two liters of water in my bladder in my backpack. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty heavy from the start. But hey, it'll be all right. I got it. So. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to try to find where this trailhead is and uh, get started on the trail. And uh, I'll check back with you soon. Stay metal. Alright folks, uh, I found a sign to the trailhead. So it looks like it's that way. But check this out. Pretty view of the lake right here at the entrance of the trailhead. Got a few pictures that I'll upload uh, when all said and done. But uh, let's head this way, see what we got. See where this trailhead is. Oh, looks like this is it. Yep, I'm here. Yep, orange blazes. This is what I gotta look for, orange blazes. That's the blue blaze. It uh, signifies the Buckeye Trail. The Buckeye Trail runs right along this. Um, I guess you can see here. Uh, right, I'll start off, start off uphill. Got 4.5 miles to water. Um, looks like Camp 7. Hmm, not sure what that means. Uh, still learning. I'm new to this backpacking thing. And, uh, yep. Yeah. As you can see, the orange blazes up on the trees up ahead. Um, that's why I need to follow. So, alright. See you later, civilization. Heading into the woods. Alright. Let's go.
cobweb. <clears throat> Shrink and poles are good for that. <laughs> Just came back up. Oh, came back up. Just went up this big old incline. I don't know if you can see that. That was steep. That's what this trail is known for, is for its steeps, the steep up and downs. Whew. So check up about a mile and a half in now. Hasn't been too hateful. Bugs haven't been all that bad. They've been bare. They've been bearable. Been walking into a lot of cobwebs though. Seems like nobody's hiked this trail in a in a minute. I'm going down a decline right now. Got about three more miles to the first water source. Still, I still have plenty of water. Um, this trail is also known for having plenty, plenty full water uh, water sources. So that's good. First impression at the beginning of it was a steady incline. Uh, that's if you're going counterclockwise on the south loop. Uh, steady incline for the most part. Yeah, but not too bad. If you're some, somewhat in shape, be fine. I also heard that it wasn't marked with uh, blazes very well. But from from what I can see so far, I think it's marked just enough. So I have haven't had any issues with that yet. So but that's it so far. Uh, going down another decline. Oh, another cobweb. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Knock this down my trekking pole. Oh, oh, missed it. A big old spider on it. My wife would have freaked out. She would have seen that. If she came with me today, she would have been bugging out. She would have had me take a lead and knock down all the cobwebs. She can't stand spiders. All right. It's not too hot today. Um, I think it's in the low 70s now, mid 70s. I'm not sure exactly. Check my thermometer right here real quick. All right, so maybe like just at 70, 70 degrees. It's not too bad. I'm sweating like crazy though. Not sure what the humidity is, but being Ohio, it's probably around 50%, maybe more. I don't know, maybe less. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna get back on the trail.
see that up there? It's another incline. About to head up. Just came from this way. Oh, I love being out here though. It's been a beautiful trail so far. Oh, sun peeking through. Alright. Let's do this. Whew, that sucked. <sighs> Whew, now they're inclined down. How steep. Calves are on fire. Whew. All right. Looks like some decline on the rest of the way. Let's move on. Whew, another steep ass hill. Whew, another one. Ah, just came up that one. Yep. Whew. All right, so I'm about probably over two and a half miles in now. Whew. Good thing with those steep hills, once you get to the top, it levels out for a little bit, get your breath, so that's good. Looks like I'm about to hit another one. I don't know. Whew. Yeah, it looks like another one I'm about to hit. All right, let me tackle this one. All right, just just got done taking a break from uh, another really steep incline. Uh, it was right after a uh, a logging road. It levels out somewhat after big steep hills. So I'm at about 3.6 miles now. Uh, the water source is like around the 4.4-ish range. It's almost there. Probably when I get there, uh, probably gonna stop and have some lunch. Take a break. I remember it's my first time ever backpacking. Probably my first time ever logging a hike. Probably more than five miles, maybe. Maybe six. So, may not be in the best hiking shape, but up for the challenge. I don't think it's gonna be hard. I think I'm very capable of it. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I just checked my pace. I'm at a pace of about just under 20 mile, 29 minutes a mile. Or yeah, 29, just under 29 minutes per mile. Yeah. So uh, I think I'm moving pretty, pretty good, pretty quick. Um. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for uh, a pace under 30 minutes. Um, so that's good. Achieved that goal. 
feeling good. I think it's bothering me is my shoulders from my backpack. That's pretty much it. Everything else feels okay. Sweating like crazy. My shirt soaked. Good thing I brought extra shirts. Not sure how much my pack weighs. Um, and yeah, bother weighing it, but it's it's heavy. I'd say I don't know. I'd say it's probably over 30 pounds. It's heavy. I mean, it carries well on me. I got a uh, Osprey Osprey or Osprey pack backpack. I think it's a 45 liter. It carries well. Fits well on me. Very impressed with that. Man, this is a nice portion right here. You don't get very very much views on this on this south loop from what a lot of reviews said. Uh, not a lot of scenic views. It's so dense. Some of the videos I've seen of other people hiking it, they hiked it during the fall. So all the all the leaves are down and everything, so you can see a lot farther throughout the forest and the views there are pretty nice. Um, but here during the summer, it's pretty dense. I don't really see much. There is a nice scenic view on the north loop. Uh, so if I get the south loop done quick enough today, or make a lot of ground today, I may tackle the north loop. Well, let's see. Oh, uh, another cobweb. And then ran into it. I was like crazy. Big old spiders on. In the meantime, I'm gonna get back on the trail, kick it in the gear, get focused, and uh, I'll check back in once I get to the water source.